Jasper's not very tired. He is exhausted. And don't use very sad use. Come on, Mr. Overstreet, you twerp. <laughs> morose? Yeah, exactly, morose. Now, language was developed for one endeavor, and that is... Mr. Anderson, come on, are you a man or an amoeba? <laughs> Mr. Perry. Uh, to communicate. No! To woo women. <laughs> they were going to be talking about William Shakespeare. Oh, God. Oh, I know. A lot of you look forward to this about as much as you look forward to root canal work. We're going to talk about Shakespeare as someone who writes something very interesting. Now, many of you have seen Shakespeare done very much like this. Oh, Titus, bring your friend hither. <laughs> but if any of you have seen Mr. Marlon Brando, no, that Shakespeare can be different. France, Romans, countrymen. <laughs> Let me rest. <laughs> you can also imagine maybe John Wayne is Macbeth going, Well, is this a dagger I see before me? <laughs> Dogs, sir? Oh, uh, not just now. <laughs> I do enjoy a good dog once in a while, sir. <laughs> you can have yourself a three-course meal from one dog. <laughs> Start with your canine crudite, go to your Fido flambe for main course, and for dessert, a Pekingese parfait. And you can pick your teeth with a little paw. 